Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and today we're going to continue the conversation about freeing the rib cage by releasing our shoulder blade. Um, today we're going to be releasing at the top portion of the shoulder blade, kind of above the spine of the scapula, um, also into that upper trap area where we all want a little bit of a, a shoulder rub in that area. Um, and again, noticing the impact on the, the release of the rib cage. So I'm going to use a pinky ball. But you could also go with that mini tennis ball or just a regular well-used tennis ball. And then I'm also going to have a yoga block to put under my pelvis. So first, I'm going to put my ball into that um, area above the spine of the scapula. And then I'm going to come down on it. Ooh, it got away from me. So again, this is hard <laughs> to place by yourself. And then once you have it underneath you, you can do a little bit of excavating and decide on a spot. And then you want to roll into it and land on that spot. Then, with your breath, you're going to lift your pelvis, slide your yoga block or your hard back book um, underneath you. And then do a little bit more wiggling to, again, reinforce what spot you want. And then when you find it, again, you want to roll into it. No need to be symmetrical or neutral. You just want to get heavy on that ball. And then you want to really talk to yourself that above and below the ball, you're just being your heaviest self. And then breathe air into the ball, reach into your feet a little bit, and just lighten the back of the pelvis. So you'll feel a little bit more press into the ball, a little bit more sensation, but can you relax into that? and then slowly lower the pelvis back down. You can wiggle a little bit once you're down again to kind of reinforce the weight and the release on the ball. And then again, breathe into the ball, reach into your feet and legs a little bit, and just lightening the pelvis the tiniest bit off your yoga block. Try to relax and release into it, because you'll have more sensation once you hover the pelvis up and then release the pelvis. Good, and you can do that a number of, of times. You can even find another little new spot and go through that same sequence again. But we're just doing the one spot today. So you wanna take the ball out first. That's important. Take the ball out first, and then with the eyes to the ceiling, take your yoga block out, and then land. And once you've come down, then you wanna bring your brain online you're really changing your brain map through these sequences, right? You're adding more landscape, more color. Your, your brain is really getting to know your body. And then of course, like we've done in the previous videos, you wanna sit up or stand up against gravity and really pay attention to the difference that that made to the kind of floating, unsticking, of your shoulder girdle on the rib cage. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.